Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Akili, and today I'm going to be doing another sketchbook tour covering the month of October. And as many of you guys know, October is the month of Inktober, where the challenge is to draw something in ink every single day and post it and hashtag it Inktober. I hashtagged it Inktober 2016 just to keep track. Fun fact, this sketchbook right here is actually what I used for last Inktober. Um, let's see. Remember some of these? <laughs> I can definitely see improvement in some of my drawings. So, that's a fun way to look at improvement. Now let's go ahead and get started. So the first one right here is just myself in one of my styles. And it was just to show that I'm taking on Inktober this year. Then the next one, here you have, um, this is inspired by Bob's Beauty. If you don't know who she is, I'll link her down below, but she's a beauty guru and she's been my inspiration for a very long time. She just released an eyeshadow palette called B and I found it very inspirational. So I decided to draw her. This was the original design, but I didn't really like it as much because of her eyes. But now that I look at it again, I kind of like it. <laughs> and this is the one I decided to post. And then over here, we have a witch. And this, is, this was inspired by the 31 witches tag on Instagram that someone made up a list of things. I didn't exactly go by that prompt, but I was inspired by it. There were some things listed that I thought were interesting and fun to draw. This one as well was also inspired by that. This one was inspired by the one that was labeled Garden Witch, but this is not really a witch, I would think. It's just inspired by the garden aspect. And then here, um, kind of just inspired by Scribbles and Masquerade, I went back on Gaia Online, and if you guys know what that is, then you know. <laughs> like, it's been around for a while but recently I haven't been going back on only once I went back on and my character usually always has a lace mask so that's what inspired this one this was the week that I was sick and it was really hot outside but I was in a white raincoat and a scarf and I was walking outside and everyone was in like shorts and t-shirt and I was like whatever <laughs> it's cold I'm sick and sniffly, <laughs> so I don't care. This was a sketch I was doing, but then I didn't like it, so I scrapped that and started this one instead. It's actually been a while since I looked at these, so it kind of shows how fast the month has gone by. And then over here, we have the one on the left is when I was kind of stressed out because I had a lot to do on my list and I didn't have enough time to do it. And then on the right is a mermaid that I feel like, um, I really like it. Even though it's really simple, I feel like it really implies a story. Then over here, you saw the video where I sketched this out. Um, I was inspired by the colored pen that I had along with um, just like jewels and gems. I need to practice drawing gems though. <laughs> then here on this day, I actually curled my hair and I usually don't curl my hair because it takes too much effort and I take a long time. But I found this one method by Bob's Beauty and she calls it Sleeping Beauty Curls and basically you just curl the ends of your hair since I have straight hair, they don't usually stay in that long um, after I curl it, maybe like half hour later if I don't put anything in it, they just straighten out. So <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. And here, um, this was a quick doodle at nighttime. I don't really know what inspired it, but you know that I just draw girls randomly. And this one was actually a copy of a drawing that I did earlier that day, but it was in pencil and another piece of paper. So I wanted to transfer it over to the Inktober sketchbook, as I like to call it, and make a copy of that. But actually, I think the older one looks better. 
Oh well. <laughs> and then here we have a little fairy and I haven't really been drawing a lot of fairies for Fairy Friday or Mermaids for Monday Merms and I'm feeling a little mermaid and fairy deprived <laughs> so maybe I'll draw more of them in the future. This one over here to the left was inspired by the rain because it's recently started to rain and get really dark recently. So during the day when it gets gloomy and dark, I actually really like that and I like the feeling of looking outside and it's dark but maybe it's the middle of the day, it's like 3 o'clock. So it just makes you want to stay in and drink tea or something. Then over here is... Um, a drawing that I did inspired by Maleficent. It was randomly on TV and we were watching it and I haven't watched it in a while so I actually stayed downstairs to watch it and to draw this. Even though I really like Maleficent's story, um, the one with Angelina Jolie, it's... Uh, I guess I made her evil here but this is not really Maleficent, it's just inspired by the horns and the green. But yeah, I really like the story anyways. And then over here, you guys saw me draw this in my last video for Inktober. Over here we have an exercising lady or someone doing yoga or something like that. Just because I started my daily, almost daily exercises, maybe like five times a week, depending on what I feel like. Then over here we have a little devil person and it's getting closer to Halloween so I decided to draw something more like that. This one was a mess up for the exercising one day so that's why I didn't- I never showed that one. <laughs> this one is another exercising inspired one and it's just because I felt like I was getting stronger. The colors kind of remind me of Peridot though from Steven Universe <laughs> even though it wasn't intended to be. This was a day of ketchup, and the one on the left was inspired by the Cinderella dress I have hanging on my door. And on the right, I just wanted to draw a ball gown, and I used new markers that I got from Art and Fly. If you saw my review video, then you'll know which ones I'm talking about. And then this one I actually did without any sketch beforehand, so it was all just pen. And lastly, this one was the one I drew for Halloween. I did skip a couple days because I was getting busy with schoolwork, but this one at least I got to pull out at the end for Inktober. So I ended Inktober with, I think, 26 drawings. Um, 27 drawings. <laughs> Next year, hopefully, I'll be able to do all 31 days. But for now, that is all. I actually finished this Moleskine sketchbook, so that's all for this sketchbook tour for Inktober 2016. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.